we need to take a look at where our happy place is in life. Many times Christians want to just go out to dive bomb bars and get drunk, watch sports on TV, and play video games, enjoy the weather, enjoy sports activities, swear and curse, live a very flippant lifestyle. This flippant attitude will not get you to understand Jesus Christ. All those activities, they will take you away from Christ. We have to evaluate our attitude if we have a flippant attitude. If we're running along with the rest of the world, doing what the world wants to do. Now that the coronavirus is taken over the world, we have a serious plague to deal with. And this plague is from God. This plague will oust out many. Unfortunately, many will die with unrepentant heart. Many will die without being baptized in water for the remission of sins. But I want to ask you who is still here, who is trying to get to know the Lord. Where is your happy place? Is your happy place praying to Jesus? Jesus wrote in the scriptures how the spiritual wedding supper was prepared and Many people wanted to be dismissed so they can go tend to their land, their soil, their crops, their home, their family, their children. Many people found great, great joy in these things. And even though they were created by God, he is the creator. And we need to worship the creator, Jehovah, God, Jesus Christ. Receive the words from the Holy Spirit in truth, in spirit, every day. Living off of his word every day. And love him, pray first, always to the Lord. And hopefully your happy place is in prayer with the Lord. Because all these storms will come. And they will try and they will bring tribulations. I want to read to you when Jesus Christ was in the boat with the disciples. First, the true family of God. If your happy place is in prayer with the Lord, then more likely than not, you are in the true family of Jesus. Luke 8. Then Jesus' mother and brother came to see him, but they couldn't get to him because of the crowd. Someone told Jesus, your mother and your brothers are outside and they want to see you. Jesus replied, my mother and my brothers are all those who hear God's word and obey it. In the scriptures, there are many places where Jesus finds people and heals them. They repent. They are washed away from their sins. Their sins are washed away. Jesus Christ can wash away your history, your past, and you can get to know him. You could have real living water, real relationship with Jesus. And so Jesus calmed the storm. 22. One day, Jesus said to his disciples, let's cross to the other side of the lake. So they got into the boat and started out. And they sailed across. Jesus settled down for a nap. But soon a fierce storm came down on the lake. The boat was filling with water and they were in real danger. The disciples went and woke up Jesus, shouting, Master, Master, we're going to drown. When Jesus woke up, he rebuked the wind and the raging waves. Suddenly the storm stopped and all was calm. Then he asked them, where is your faith? 
The disciples were terrified and amazed. Who is this man? They asked each other when he gives a command, even the wind and waves obey him. So don't fear what is coming. The hull of the boat is solid. The hull is the boat that sits in water. The hull did not capsize. There was no hull in it. It is same with the foundation of Jesus Christ. When you build on a solid foundation, you are wise. Build on the solid foundation. So why do you keep calling me Lord, Lord, when you do not do what I say? I will show you what it is like when someone comes to me, listens to my teachings, and then follows it. It is like a person building a house who digs deep and lays the foundation on solid rock. When the floodwaters rise and break against that house, it stands firm because it is well built. But anyone who hears and doesn't obey is like a person who builds a house without a foundation. Then the flood sweep down against that house and it will collapse into a heap of ruins, into a great collapse of heap. My friends, if your happy place is prayer, then you are on the right path, getting to know Jesus. And tr Unfortunately, many Christians' happy place is playing with their kitties and puppies, playing with their rabbits, playing with all of their toys, their animals, sports and things, playing out in the world, making memes, making memes about Jesus, watching memes and posting false kinds of wicked ways of the world about conspiracies. If your happy place is with Jesus, then you're going to hold onto your crown that is Jesus Christ. Evaluate your life today, my friends. Are you willing to face the evil farmer's in this life. The evil farmers are those that truly hate God and stand for truth in these times. Stand for truth. Stand on Jesus Christ, the rock. The rock is Jesus Christ. The builders that have refused the rock, those evil farmers and all those people that love this life that are not going to the wedding supper of the Lord Jesus Christ. They're not going to be having on the wedding garments of the Lord. Evaluate your life. What is your happy place today, my friends? Get to know Jesus Christ. Bow down. Get on your knees. Pray hard. Pray diligently to get your sins out of your life. May your prayers come to Jesus.